ladies and gentlemen, we are going to the semi-finals of the Europa League and it is all living up to the hype. We have two amazing games for great teams, very interesting ties and anything can happen. So with the, qual with the predictions of this Europa League, it's going to become a little bit more difficult this time around in the semi-finals. But as we go through we go through to the final and any sort of final is going to be a good final for this one so who, what are my predictions let's find out right now what's up everybody it's the aiden sports show welcome back to another video this is going to be a Europa League semi-finals predictions where we go through the two games that will be happening in the semi-finals of the Europa League. We try to predict the outcome of both games and who will be qualifying into the Europa League final. This is going to be a very, very interesting type of video because you've seen both Europa League games. It's, they've been really good, to be fair. Um, but before we get started, please like and subscribe to the Aiden Sports Show YouTube channel. Turn notifications on and let me know in the comments below who do you think will be in the Europa League final. It's as simple as that. That's what I want to know. What everybody's saying that it's going to be Inter Milan and Manchester United, but it might not be that simple. It's a, look, the Europa League is a different sort of beast than just predicting that the two teams with the most quality will go in. It's not always how it works. Tactics, coaching, players, willingness to succeed are all attributes that will go into whoever goes into the final and ultimately wins it at the end of the day. Manchester United are just one of many teams that are, are, are potentially the favorites to go in look Shakhtar are a great team Inter are a great team Sevilla is a great team and Manchester United are a great team this is no matter what the outcomes are this final is going to be very very interesting now let's get off to the first game of this episode Inter Milan versus Shakhtar now Shakhtar are a great great team and they showed it in their last game Inter Milan were absolutely dominant and Inter Milan looked very, very scary. Inter Milan were dominant against um, against Havertz team, Leverkusen. That they, they were absolutely dominant. They really were. Now, of course, the scoreline might not reflect it as much, but they were they were very, very good. But Shakhtar is a great team. Shakhtar is actually a dominating team. And it's going to be very interesting to see who comes out of this as the winners. Now, it's, it's, it's fairly simple in terms of who do I think is going to win because you have to go with the favorite. You have to go with the quality. And they do work very, very hard. This game is going to be attack versus defense. I think Inter Milan will give away a little bit of possession in this game compared to their last few games. Because they love to play three at the back, don't they? They love to play three at the back. They And, and they love to go and play a 3-5-2. They have two rare, really, really good strikers in Lukaku and Martinez. But Lukaku is not someone that can really keep possession of the ball a whole lot compared to Martinez. They really, really partner each other up very, very well. The midfield... They don't even play Ericsson. That's how good that they've been playing. Ericsson has not even been a main feature. He's come off the bench and he succeeded for them. Shakhtar are dominating in their own right as well. Obviously, when you have a team that's this close to getting to the final, you have to give them the equal respect no matter what the outcome is. But I truly think that Inter Milan will win this game. Now... I don't think it's going to be as easy as their last game against Leverkusen. I thought Leverkusen were relatively poor. They looked pretty average in their game against Inter Milan. I don't see that being the case here. I don't see Inter Milan making a team look average in the semi-finals. I think this is going to be a very tight contest. I see maybe a 2-0 victory for Inter Milan at best. I don't see them scoring 4 or 5. I don't see Shakhtar scoring 4 or 5. I think it's going to be 2-0 either way, but I am going to go with Inter Milan. Inter Milan are a great team, man, and they're destined to make the final. Final. They probably have the easier of the tie because I think Sevilla is slightly better and Manchester United are slightly better than Shakhtar. But they have a great team. They have a great team and it's time to see if their team is good enough to make the, the finals. Now, they have a lot of Premier League players as well. And I think that's kind of helped them. They have Alexis Sanchez. They have Lukaku. They have Ericsson. They have Ashley Young. They have Victor Moses. They have all these players that were played in the Premier League and like the fast pace to play. They like to run. They like to create space. They like to extend um, the defense of, of any team that they play. And and make it very, very difficult for them to stop their two strikers. That's their game plan. And one of the two strikers will succeed. Lukaku has been absolutely 
lethal this season. Yeah, he can miss the he can miss an open center here or there, but he scored more than 30 goals this season for Inter Milan, and he scored in nearly every Europa League game, if if not every Europa League game he has played in. So you have to give Lukaku his respect. He is probably going to score this game. There's no doubt about it in my mind. Lukaku will probably score this game, but it's up to Shakhtar to see if they can outscore Inter Milan. If Shakhtar can play their game, there's no reason why they can't win. It's as simple as that. There's no reason why they can't win, but just for the luck of the favorites, I am going to pick Inter Milan. Now, the next game, the final game of this episode is not a long video at all because there's only two teams to talk about here. Sylvia versus Manchester United. Now, for anybody that doesn't know, you have to, you can look through my entire channel. You guys know I'm a Manchester United fan. So we've had very, very bad history with Sylvia in the Champions League specifically, with um, Sylvia ultimately knocking us out very convincingly as well. Um, they had the better team at that time. Now, times have changed. Do Sylvia have a better team than Manchester United now? I can tell you one thing for sure. Sylvia are a good team. They've always been a good team. They might not be better than what they were in the Champions League, but they're still an extremely good team. They are the Europa League kings, I believe. I believe they've made the Europa League five out of 10 seasons, uh, five out of 10 seasons, or they've won it five times in the last 10 seasons. Some sort of ridiculous stat like that. Sevilla so is a team that Manchester United should not be taking lightly at all. Now, if you watch the game with Sevilla and Wolves, that game was ridiculously boring. And the reason why is because Wolves made it really boring. But Wolves probably should have won that game. Wolves probably should have won that game. But in the end, no matter what you can spin it, Sylvia took the lead late and they took the lead to, the, to this game as well. So we have to say, is Wolves better than Manchester United? No, I don't think they are. But they, they, they give us problems. I don't think anybody wanted Wolves. I personally wanted Wolves because I feel like we know a lot about them. We know what their game style is like. We can adapt. Sevilla is a little bit of the unknown. We know that they're good at holding the ball. We know they are good at possession-based football. Their defense is not great. But with the way that they hold possession, it's very difficult to score on them. So this kind of plays into Manchester United's hands. Because as I mentioned before in our last game against Copenhagen, they were going to attack us and we would play on the counter. And that's pretty much what happened for the majority of the first half of that game. We played off the counter and Copenhagen attacked us and we looked poor in doing that. But that's our style of play. Our best, our, the best Manchester United you see is a counter-attacking Manchester United. So in this game, I expect the same thing to happen. I expect Sylvia to dominate possession. I expect Sylvia to try and create opportunities. I expect Manchester United to defend and counter-attack. The question is, will we have enough to go and get this victory? I predict Manchester United to win this game. I can't say I don't. We have the better team. We did have, I think, Sevilla were the better team when we were in the Champions League. Obviously, maybe players-wise, we that we were better, but they played better overall. This should be a different sort of test. We're looking at for revenge, Manchester United. Manchester United should be looking for revenge, and they should be going after this team and beating them convincingly. But again, I'm going to go for a 2-1 victory for Manchester United. I will be making a Manchester United and Sevilla match prediction separately, so don't worry about that. But that is my prediction. So it is destined. It is truly destined to have an Inter Milan and Manchester United Europa League final. This final could potentially match the Champions League final. Not in terms of excitement or quality, but the two teams are very big names. And if these two teams make the Europa League final, it is going to be a must watch. People would want to know the outcome between Manchester United and Inter Milan, two great teams, two clubs that will probably will be in the Champions League next season. It's time to see if those two can end up going and getting a victory because if they can do it, it's going to be a lot. The whole world's going to watch this game. It's as simple as that. But things can change, man. You could have Shakhtar and Sylvia. You could have Inter and Sylvia. You can have Man United and Shakhtar. We do not know, man. So hopefully the Inter-Manchester United final will happen. Hopefully we can all get ready to see Lukaku versus old side. Alexis Sanchez versus old side. To see Ashley Young versus old side. And we'll see what happens, man. I'm going to be excited if that happens, man. I love... Look, I, I'm, I'm a big fan of Inter's team. I've always respected Lukaku. I've always respected Alexis Sanchez. I've always respected Ashley Young, even though when I made a video about him basically just 
being frustrated because he forced his way out. But I still respect the guy. So I'm excited to see where that's going to go if that is going to be the final. But there we go. That's going to be the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe if you're new to the Aiden Sports Show YouTube channel. Turn notifications on. I will see you guys in the Champions League semi-final predictions and also the Europa League final predictions when the time comes. Stay tuned for the next Manchester United video, which will come out later today. Take care and peace.